Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Now today's one I'm saying hi to you all from Central Bay and you might be wondering what am I doing in Central Bay so I'm gonna fill you in every single little detail. First of all we're here with one of my absolute favorite brands in the whole entire world. You will know for sure and there's in my head absolutely no competitor to Adam Murphy Gay. Now I'm not gonna bore you unnecessarily, <laughs> unnecessarily with like random information but i want to tell you that guys i have so much to tell you first of all i'm gonna give you all the tea like i would give to my friends so this morning was not an easy morning for me i actually came last night from shanti with the valentino at 1 a.m well i arrived home at midnight i started packing my fashion week bags and i packed and showered and got ready for bed at 1 a.m. I had to wake up at 4.30 because I had to catch a 7 a.m. flight. So that was like altogether like three and a half hours of sleep, more or less. And I was like, because I have two phones, I was like, let me just, I haven't charged my other phone. And I was like, let me just charge my other phone for like five minutes. So I basically closed my bags, left the hotel, checked out, got in my taxi, arrived at Charles de Gaulle. Luckily it was 5 a.m. So it was like 35 minutes later to understand that I left my other phone in the hotel room together with the charger. And you know, your brain doesn't really work at that time of the day, but there are things that I'm really bad at, but there's one thing that I'm very good at and that's problem solving like my brain like when there's a problem my brain immediately goes into how can we solve this problem like there's no thinking why did I do that or whose fault it is or why this happened it's like immediately problem solving thing now not proud to say that this is not the first time it happened and honestly I don't really forget many things but that particular phone I seem to kind of leave it around sometimes because I'm not actually using it that much so I immediately like called the hotel I arranged at 5 a.m guys well 5 30 I arranged the driver at the hotel someone to pick up the phone to bring it to me at Charles de Gaulle it was like very smooth I was like walking around for half an hour until the car and the driver kindly well not kindly it was a paid service <laughs> brought me the phone so yeah what can I tell you I was like I can't believe what a start to this trip. I have to be more careful. And the thing is, I think the reason why I was so like scattered is because I only slept for three hours and I feel like it's been kind of a pattern now for a while. Anyway, we then arrived in Saint Tropez and honestly, the life just became so much better because I'm in the most beautiful house in the world. I honestly think this is the most beautiful house I've ever stayed at. I love coming back here. And other might begin, my favorite watch brand, they do these like ladies events, right? So first of all, it's my watch brand of choice been for many 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 years but other than that it's a brand that really values and respects women in a way that it also dedicates special models for the women and special events for the women and i love that because you know like a lot of watch brands like are quite still like man oriented especially because i suppose like the majority of clients and customers are men but then like you know you sometimes as a woman feel like i also want to have a nice watch well at least i do so yeah you guys know that I've been like waiting on a list for another Royal Oak. Hopefully it's gonna come in soon. But I'm so happy to be here. First of all, I'm surrounded by other incredible women. I love, love, love. Like I'm a girl's girl. I love being with other women. I love when women lift each other up. That for me is the most beautiful thing in the world. Second of all, we're in this gorgeous place where it doesn't even feel like we're working. We're literally going to discover some incredible watches tonight, okay? Okay, okay, okay. And I'm gonna try to give you a little insight of the house that we're staying at. But until we get out, you have probably seen it last time a little bit. I think I have shown you bits and bobs. Like this is the garden. It's insane. And the vineyards. But I've actually vlogged from here before because we stayed here with AP before and it was so beautiful. Now, on arrival, I haven't unboxed this without you. I got a beautiful tote bag. This will come with me when we go on a boat ride later on. And this sort of like a towel. I love anything. Anything other RPG branded for me is like, yes, please. And then there's a note. Let's see what the note says. Guys, it's in French. So, toute l'équipe Audemars Piguet veut sorte la bienvenue en Château Saint-Maur pour cette édition de notre Summer Week. Okay? That's about it. Not gonna be butchering French anymore. I think like it was okay for one vlog. So right now I'm gonna unpack a little bit, just a little bit because I have a full luggage in here and we need to get going for lunch. I need to do a little bit of makeup and I have literally 10 minutes. So let's get going. Some of you might remember this staircase. Look at this. How beautiful the travertine stairs and the wood 
rail holder and then this lounge i think i vlogged last time as well look how gorgeous and here is me actually okay so i'm wearing my wardrobe new york city vest that i also wore in paris haute couture in black and the same trousers the chai sandals the kelly belt and the chanel sunglasses so this is the look of the day for me i don't know if you can see for the outfit check Good. Love it. Now let's go for lunch because I'm actually starving. You guys, I haven't eaten pretty much anything. I, well, I know. I had a little pan of chocolate today when we arrived. I'm so happy that I cut my hair and that I colored it. It feels so much better. I don't need to do anything. I haven't even put mascara on and put a little bit of makeup, but I feel much better with the hair chopped. I was scared I'm late, but I wanted to come in. Actually, no one's seated down yet. Look at this table, it's so beautiful. And this whole place. It's just such a perfection. Look at this. It's honestly like, you know, I was here last year, right? And we came here already. And it's just so relaxing. Like, there's no other place that I've ever been to that I feel as relaxed as here for some reason. Because like, you know, there's nowhere that I have to be. We're in the middle of nowhere, in a way. And this, I find very, very relaxing, very chill. Just the nature. You can reconnect a little bit with the nature. You can kind of like talk to other ladies. Honestly, like everybody is like really so nice on this trip so that makes everything so different well not different but you know better <laughs> and yeah my all white look because you know actually it's quite hot to be honest i just think my room the ac was blasting so i wasn't sure if this is a good look but it's all good now and let's go and speak to the girls a little bit i forgot to tell you guys we have the glucose goddess who did like a menu for us and we're gonna be learning some stuff and i'm gonna share the knowledge with you guys so Guys, lunch was so good. We had, for a starter, like tomato, like some vegetables. Then we had a fish with some more vegetables. And then we had chicken with some more vegetables. And I was like, by the time the chicken arrived, I was like, I'm full, guys. But it was so delicious and light that it was really great. And then the dessert. You haven't seen any of it because I just ate it. We got a little gift, a spoon, but... This is the kind of vinegar spoon that you're supposed to add to your drink before you have a meal because that will reduce the glucose spike in your blood and that's really good. So she gave us a lot of little tricks that I thought were very useful. But my spoon actually and everybody else's spoon has their own initials which I thought was so sweet. Love those kind of personalized things. Now I've changed. I'm wearing the Chanel swim one piece from last summer. Or is it last summer or is it summer before? I honestly think maybe yeah it's the summer before Cocoa Beach because last summer was the collection i didn't really enjoy so mm. but this collection i really loved and this year's collection i really love then the navy gala pants from the row and i will have my white chai pre sandals we're going on a little boat tour we did it last year as well with gemology session where they were telling us like what the gems that we pick say about us and what i remember mine said one of the like gems that i picked was that i'm on the right path and that all the hardships are in the past and it meant so much to me to hear it last summer it was really nice and that all the hardships i've been through in life have made me stronger i mean i know that's kind of like a general thing but it was really nice anyway now we're gonna have a little boat tour then we come back for a bit of chill moment and tonight is the party by party i mean i also get to see all the new watches guys i literally cannot wait how much i love watches it's just insane <laughs> Guys, I am so happy that I'm on time. I'm fully dressed for this very special event tonight. I'm wearing an Alaya dress, Saint Laurent shoes, and I will be carrying a Bottega clutch. I need to wind my watch. I changed my watch. I'm wearing the black Ademar Piguet Carlina Bucci one. So precious, so beautiful. So, you know, like getting a bit exciting, like with my wardrobe, watch wardrobe. And 
we're going to see the newest Admiral Piguet releases for women and men, but women. <laughs> I also wanted to say I'm a little bit overwhelmed because I'm too excited about seeing all of these new models. So I was like, which camera do I bring? How many phones? Do I bring the photo camera or the video camera or both? Or do I, in the end, I think I'm just going to bring my phone. I'm going to do the best possible job that I can to present you the new watches because guys, it is a very exciting moment for me right now so let's go i feel slightly bad because i have barely even spoken to filippo today and during the couple week because it was so hectic but the truth is he's coming tomorrow so that will be better in the meanwhile let me show you the look so this is the look it's this kind of like a bodycon gorgeous dress i'm obsessed guys <gasps> This watch and it's a, every it's single watch is unique because the, the stone is different, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's very special and it's yellow What's gold. Inside? It's a turquoise stone. No, but here. Because like you know, what? like how the stones have imperfections, because it's an actual stone. Right, right inside, you can see the veins yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. so incredible i have to say that i tried on pretty much every watch tried to show it to you but obviously like those watches are like really precious and you know everybody wants to try them on so i couldn't like spend forever with them but i hope you enjoyed seeing that i know what's my next uh, next watch after the one <laughs> that i've been waiting for arrives okie dokie this is the way to the dinner love interrupted tragedy lost in the drought of nightfall running in search of the remedy good morning my youtube fan wow why do i look like this let's fix it okay trying to fix the situation i am uh, i'm actually leaving the gorgeous villa that we're at this morning unfortunately but also fortunately because well it's not fortunately but also what you need to know is Filippo is arriving right now and i'm so happy because we can just enjoy the last day together with our Ademar Piquet family the look of the day is this Wolford numero 21 dress i love it so much i actually wore it also in Ravello on the weekend that we got engaged i will link it below if i can find it i really like it a lot and now i'm going to the other villa to reunite with my other half change the watch last night it actually works really well with this look so that's beautiful and that's it i mean what can i tell you this place is truly utterly stunning so much architectural inspiration and i'm going down ah there's a lift that's amazing there you go i'm gonna take the beautiful staircase until the next year leaving this place i mean it's quite swanky wow guys this view and actually the whole of central pair look at this we have a little time to go and then we're going to the beach but guess who i'm with my beautiful incredible husband to be has brought me my favorite ms shirt i'm wearing the same swim and valentino shorts love them we're going to the in the beach good morning guys it's a new day and we're not in saint tropez anymore which might seem a bit obvious judging from the environment we're actually in Ibiza. We arrived very late last night, so I didn't even show you the arrival because actually yesterday we were tanning in Central Bay. I don't know if I'm a little bit more tanned, just enjoying life, uh, chilling by the pool. And today we are going to do the same, but in Ibiza. We decided to come here very spontaneously because, well, not very spontaneously. Our friend Jessica is having a birthday party on two or three days time, but we came a little bit earlier because we want to have some good time and today is going to be a boat day but first things first you know your girl i really <laughs> Let's try to show them, baby, where we are. Okay, I'm gonna do something very, very difficult. Wait. Maybe you don't trust me? I 
trashy, but I have a lot of unposted content on that phone. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wow. Look oh, behind you. Hi, Jurgen. Tammy, would you like to say something? Yes. What? That I'm having... Maybe without the, with a better view. Yeah. You know, like the island. I want to say that I'm having a really good time. Yeah. Baby, can you actually take me a picture for the yeah. gram? Yeah, but this and is And I'll sit on the note. Guys, our boat trip is over and I received some really nice pieces from my friend Ksenia who actually has her own brand attire. I was because like I think maybe it was a little bit too much. I was fangirling of her outfit so much and I cannot wait to wear. I don't know what I cannot wait to wear more, but I think this one is ironed, it will be very beautiful. And also these mesh beach dresses over bikini, that's gonna be so freaking gorgeous love it love it love it also want to try the shorts on immediately because they look really cool we are ready oh white me today okay i was feeling like a dress but then i was not feeling like a dress so let's go i'm very casual as you guys can see i realized i never gave you an update we spent a day on the boat and you guys know me i don't really tend to vlog much when we're on a boat because all you do is swim enjoy like just have the best time take the sun i feel like i'm really tan today um then i got home i did a face mask i did the biologic people o2 i did a bit of makeup and now we're going to kazamaka for dinner actually for the first time in a while i'm really excited for dinner Lately, I haven't really been feeling like eating something at night. I usually am like, I've been really good at intermittent fasting. But today we didn't have a proper lunch. We were just like snacking a little bit on the boat, eating fruits. And I'm really excited to have like a proper big dinner meal. This looks so good. Okay. Good morning, everybody. We are back in Ibiza. Well, we're not back. We've been here since the beginning of this. Well, not since the beginning, but... We get to Yandal, we have our little Audemars Piguet beach bag packed in the back and I'm worried that AC is blasting in my I'm not a fan of AC guys, so I don't know. Can we switch it off now? Yes. Merci beaucoup. So, I'm wearing this new I mean, dress. We are in Spain, so it's more muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. I'm wearing the new beach dress that I got from Xenia yesterday. And uh, Filippo is wearing his sunrun orange shirt and his new Alan shorts. You know, sometimes I get a lot of tips from guys asking if you can give some fashion tips. I'm here, baby. Whatever you guys need, you can always ask. We can integrate Filippo in one of the videos. He can tell you some of his best tips. Like, But, but I can Alan Way shorts are very comfortable and very... Yeah. Very chic. Because they're knit. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, yeah, they're knit. That's, yeah, that's gorgeous. What's this? I was kind of surprised for the summer that they're knit, but I think it's in the DNA of Illinois, I suppose. So we're going to Yandal. We're going to spend the day there, like at the beach, swimming in the sea, and also having lunch there. I also put today my Van Cleef white gold uh, Chalcedony 10 motive necklace. I really love it, and I feel like it's especially cute when I'm a bit more tanned. Yesterday I really tanned a lot on the boat because honestly, on the boat you just get so much tan, which is quite... Did we miss it? Yep. Which it's is quite there. nice because actually we're going to spend a big part of our summer on a boat and I don't know if I should announce it yet, but we're also going to Japan this summer. We are! For the first time. Have you been to Japan before? No. Me neither. So it's our first time together. Yep. And uh, that's one of the plans. I feel like this has been a year of Asia for me. Korea, China, Singapore, and Japan to the Seoul list. twice. Right? It's kind of incredible, really, to be honest. I'm really grateful that Asia is open and we can kind of go and visit. That's really nice. So, I know I haven't been great at vlogging this whole trip. But the truth is, whenever I'm with friends and with Filippo, it's always, I feel like I'm a bit less productive because I usually, when I work, I know I'm working and when I relax, I try to have some work relax boundaries. So it's tough when I'm trying to do both things, like relax Whoop. Sorry. and work sorry, at the same sorry, time. Sorry. That's okay, my love. Wow, I love this, uh, these roads. Yeah. I love this, you see the walls? You know what it reminds me of? A little bit of? 
Puglia. It's Puglia, but Puglia is whiter. Yeah, you're right. Um, also, Greece is whiter. Uh huh. But yeah, I love it. But it reminds me of Puglia. Yeah, yeah. Mainly, I don't know where we are. It is true. Probably it's four true. minutes until we arrive. Three minutes, maybe. But it would be more Puglia if there was a herd of sheep. On also, the road. Puglia is about the Fiki Dindia. Exactly. I, I thought that was olive trees, but yeah. whatever they are, yeah. So when you see Fiki Dindia, it's Puglia. Yeah. One other thing you don't know is that I came to Ibiza without a swimming suit, guys. I mean, I had this one piece Chanel swim, and Philip was supposed to bring me a bikini. So yesterday I stopped in the port and I bought the bikini and some around that I actually really like, so it's fine. I hate to buy stuff because I forget. Look, baby, those are the Fiki Dindia. Yeah? Yes. This? Yeah, I mean, they're dead, to be honest. Ah, they're not looking for... And look there, there they are, look in front of that gate. Let's see. Exactly. This oh, is ew. a Fico di... Look, look here. So many. Yeah, those yeah. are the Fico di India. They're a bit dead. I thought it was cactus. No, no, cacti. Fico di India. Wow. Well, anyway, I was gonna tell you, I hate when I forget something and then I have to buy another one. And then I buy one that I don't really love, you know? I, for me, that's the biggest waste of money. I would rather buy one that is like more expensive, but I really love and I will wear it forever and ever and ever. So that's what I did. I went to Saint Laurent and I bought a really cute bikini that I liked and I, it was like perfect. Not like settling, you know, you, you should never settle. It's the same principle for men. You don't go for one just because you're single. You have to wait to find one that like, you know, it might be a bit more time to wait, but it's like the one. And the That's secret a... is just behave in life and everything will come. Yeah. Just wait and see. I love that wisdom. And that's all of our wisdom for today. Now we can just enjoy it. <laughs> we just made it to Yandao. So quiet and nice. I love it when it's like this in the mornings. It's the best because you really get to enjoy the beauty. Guys, I ordered watermelon juice. I have to say this is so good. I'm going to start making this at home as well because I love it. This is the best bread in the world, Xenia. Do you want to grab the other side? It's still hot. Mm. Look inside. So good. Guys, last thing you saw, we were in Yondal eating that gorgeous bread, which by the way, if you end up being in Ibiza at any point this summer, winter, whenever, you have to go to Yondal and you have to eat that bread. It's like a bread which comes hot with the butter inside. It's so good. It's insane. Insane. So Xenia has been having alioli obsession this summer, so we were kind of eating it with that, but also with a little bit of Iberico, or like, I don't know, whatever you want, but it's delicious. Like, food there was just so good. Anyway, I had a bit of social media break, to be honest, in Ibiza. I haven't basically posted anything, and I was telling Xenia that I was having a little bit of, like, social media fatigue at that point, probably caused by so many trips that I did in the past weeks. I did, like, way too many trips, honestly, like, yeah, but I, I chose it that way. I I, it's a long story, but you know, I didn't know that this summer was going to be so overwhelming, especially in a good way, especially after we got engaged, you know, I would have loved to spend some more time at home, but I'm very, very serious when it comes to my work. So if I committed already to something, I wouldn't cancel and it is what it is. So that's it. Now we're going to be at home for a few days and I'm going to try and vlog from here. But since we just managed to unpack from Paris and Saint Tropez and Ibiza, I was away for 10 days and I wanted to actually show you some of the things that I got in Paris first because I thought it was quite cute to share those bits with you guys. Okay, so first things first, I wanted to tell you like if I'm a little bit glowy, it's because I've been using this, I've shown it to you in the previous vlog, or was it this vlog? No one knows. Anyway, I got so many things at Biologic Research for the summer. So we got two bottles of this water that everybody's saying is like the most incredible one. It's multi-active treatment mist for the face. And in these hotter days, guys, in Milan, it's unbearable. In Milan, it's 40 degrees, it's unbearable. Nobody wants to be in Milan during summer. And this just feels good. So I'm always looking a little bit too glowy. That's because of this. I use this before makeup, after makeup, before my face care routine, after like all the time basically. You guys know I really love the lotion P50. I use the W version which I believe is a little bit softer, like more gentle. I'm pretty sure. I know there's also like pigma version that I was recommended at one point because I have pigmentation prone skin, but I didn't really like it as much as I did this one. And then I also use the normal one and not the W one. That one is like a little bit more intense, but I feel especially in summer when I'm exposed more to sun, I want to use the normal one. So I got that as well. Now I got three new series 
serums. Now this one, Complex Irribiol, is really good because it contains salicylic acid, which is really known. By the way, this is not sponsored. I'm just sharing the things with you guys because I really wanted to show you what I got. And I mean, no jokes, I got so many things and I'm really obsessed with it right now that I really wanted to share with you. So salicylic acid, really, really good for any kind of like inflammation on the skin or spots. I, in the past few, now they're healed, but I had Maybe I have one still here, I think. They're not very big spots, very, very basic, probably because of sun and travel and all the stuff, but you know, I like to have it always on hand. Now, I always use the Collagen Native. It's quite thick, but I decided to try Collagen Original on this occasion. I also tried Collagen Marine, I believe, but I preferred the Collagen Native. And then I also was recommended this Dermopore Serum, which I'm going to try after... I like heal everything. It's just like helps with pore reduction. Now, one thing that so far I discovered and I really, really, really like that I never tried before is this mask bend plant. And it's like purifying, like seboregulating treatment. So it's really good as well when you feel like, sometimes I feel like I have like an oily T-zone or oilier than usually, and it really helps. I love this moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I've been using since the first time I ever went to Balaji Krishna it's this one over here but for the first time ever I actually bought the body gommage like the body scrub it's amazing I think it contains like lotion p50 in it because it's kind of like not so mechanical it's more like chemical exfoliator and I also got em this emulsion original but for body so it's the same thing that I use for my face but for my body however this is not like my best or favorite body lotion to be honest with you guys it is quite moisturizing but what I don't like about a moisturizer when you apply and then after some time you're very moisturized it's beautiful great but it starts like peeling like there's a little bit residue on your skin if you ask me what's the most moisturizing body lotion I have a few hold on so one that you all know that I think is amazing for summer is this La Mer one in a pot not in a bottle because in the bottle I have it also in bottle which is much better for traveling but I don't think it's as moisturizing as the one in the pot is that normal not sure that would be number one number two fashion week I always have this in the car because you never know if your skin is going to be dry during fashion week and you have so many shoots and things. This, use this. This is Lancome Nutrix Royal Body. This was recommended to me by my best friend and it says dry to very dry skin. I don't know if you can see that. At the bottom it says it's so moisturizing, no residue, like really divine. I think I'm gonna pack this for my next trip. It's so good. And one other lotion which I'm kind of surprised and I'm kind of running out of is this beauty here. It's very old now. It's Emulsion La Rose Noir. So Black Rose Beautifying Emulsion. This this leaves such a satiny, hydrating film on your skin, no residue, smells great, and I know that they have a saffron one as well that I tried when I was in the vibe. The thing is though, the saffron one was sold out, everything was sold out actually. And actually I also like the U Beauty, this one over here, the Super Body Hydrator is great. It's very milky and rich, it reminds me of like the body lotions in the 90s, I don't know why, but when I was a kid that's how it was. So I don't know why yeah, I completely detoured from my, let me show you what I got in Paris. To like my favorite body lotion also i love in the summer you guys know i love the chanel number no. five this is the creme for the body because it really smells so good that you don't even need a fragrance then other things that i loved using are biologique mask biofixing this is like anti-age i love mask vip 2 those are really really great also sometimes i really like the biomagic one when i'm going out and i just need to energize my skin a little bit i bought some hair products as well well, that I like but the thing is though where is this hair product that I use today here it is okay so lotion care active here it is it's an energizing lotion for hair the problem is with this it really stinks it smells like guys I think it smells like mask vivant which stinks but do you want your hair to smell bad no however I want it to be healthy so that's it I don't know Filippo will have to take the consequences what can I tell you I mean you know you can never have it all 
why is that? Actually, I once said to someone, I can never have it all. And they told me, but you have it all. So shut up. So, you know, it's okay. Anyway, so that's a little bit about my current skincare routine. I also obviously use LED masks and as well as EMS scalp that I use for my body. I also use for face by face gym specifically. I've been hearing a lot about new face. Is it good, you guys? I really need to know it. Also, for face cleansing, I only use one thing. I stocked up on this, so I have many because literally the best. So now, please be kind, don't buy all of it because I also want to have some more. But it's the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Ultimate Cleanse. This is like the best of the best of the best of the best for makeup removing, for skin cleansing. It's like, smells so good. It removes so well, like every single trace of makeup, which is what I need. For retinol, I have been loving Summer Friday's Midnight Ritual Retinol. Here it is. Can you see it? No, you can't because focusing on my eyes. It's really good because it's very light, but it really does the job so well. And of course, you always have to use SPF, not just in summer. So I'm using the Biologique Recherche one, this one, Protection UV. It's the best. However, it leaves really unflattering white trail. No matter what you do, it always leaves like completely white veil. And uh, Dior Solar, which one is, all, this one is only SPF 30, but it doesn't leave any trail. So, you know, you can't have it all, I guess. It is the truth. And that's basically all when it comes to my skincare routine for now. Now, guys, I think I'm gonna stop this vlog here. I don't even know what I vlogged in this one. It's been kind of a little bit all over the place. We started in saint -Tropez, then we went to Ibiza, now we're in Milan. And the, the reality is that I just always vlog and I always film when I think like I want to share this with you and like right now I didn't plan on showing you what I got like the skin like new skincare that I bought in Paris I really didn't plan on showing you that but somehow it just came to my mind like I really want to share this and that's how I am when it comes to video there's no like much planning to it like those are just some of the new products that I started using for summer it might change if it does change I'll update you I love 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 to use also like on my summer lazy days when I don't really know what I want to use. I always go back to Augustinus Bader and La Mer. La Mer for me for traveling is, you know, 1000% is that you will arrive hydrated. However, in the summer, as you can see, I hydrate so much with mists and I use the Biologique mist. I use the mist from Gucci Beauty. I use the mist from a tea tree oil one from the Lush. It's really good actually. So really random products, you know what I mean? There's nothing behind it. But for me, like whenever I'm having a lazy night and I don't want to do like eight step routine, I always go for just La Mer or just Augustinus Bader it depends how my skin feels I have like quite a few different things that I always listen to my skin and then I go for that if that's what my skin needs so that's a very honest non-sponsored genuine opinion so that's that I'm gonna go and join my fiance and have like a really nice and sweet evening together because I missed him despite the fact that we spent last few days in Ibiza together I just love being at home with him you know like nothing 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 beats being together at home in the evenings and and like having a shower, getting into the bed and watching something really sweet on Netflix. So that's the plan for this evening. If you do have any Netflix recommendations for me though, make sure to send them my way. Okay, be a good friend and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.